there. Opportunities to definitely come back. What? I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh. Nito cares. Hey, man. You gotta take care of uh, your mental health. That's important, guys. Wait, I don't even know for live. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, but if you yeah. are, and we're on ads, Silicon Chronicles is happening once again here. Uh, coming up next year in January. You guys already have a lot of tournaments to worry about here. The first three months of Ultimate. Honestly, it's the first three months of 2020 are pretty stacked in terms of tournaments. Genesis 7. Frostbite. Oh my Japan. God. I'm excited. This is it hasn't January, been a year. It, it's going to be a year next month. Like literally, I'm I'm not lying. I feel like the first two, the fir January is going to fly by so quick in 2020. Like it's it's going to be coming and going. I feel like a lot. I'm going to go ahead and assume that a lot of people are like, "What? It hasn't been a year. It feels like we've been wandering the desert for like two years with this game." Yeah. Hyperbolic time shift, man. I mean, most definitely players who are in the hyperbolic time shift are these two gentlemen right here, Aston Mario. I feel like he spends a lot of time out of it, honestly, going to a lot of tournaments. But also, I feel like Nito, when he's never at tournaments, he's most definitely practicing combos for sure. Yeah. With the Matsunita crew. Yeah. Raised by Michael and Sin themselves. Oh, let me check it up here. I feel like he, tried to, he was really wary of one of Mario's aerials, or probably even getting caught by a roll here, so he tried to go for a new setup. Unfortunately, Mario's going to catch that. Oh. That's a, that was a cool... Uh, oh, he missed it. Nice. It's a back throw here. Looking for spacing. You can definitely catch him out with Power Geyser or Buster Wolf. The thing about Rise, uh, Power Geyser 2 is that it does cover Junk Getup, Neutral Getup, Roll Getup. It, yeah. Shield Getup is pretty good as long as you have a, a healthy shield. Yeah. And it almost looked like it was a, like it kind of clanked with his invincibility when he got up. Mm -hmm. So it was like maybe just off by like a frame. Yeah, Get Up Attack 2, it also covers because obviously you're attacking nothing and the spacing that you can get, pull off the Power Geyser is really good. It seems here, um, honestly, and to my knowledge, I'd also feel that Terry does also suffer against players like characters like Mario. And it's definitely sh showing Rising Tackle is not auto snap the ledge, and that allows Master Mario to get the dash tech into the back air. Man, I bet Terry really wishes he had those side uh, of the stage right now. I feel like Nito's like, uh, losing a lot of stocks just because of like, off stage play. <laughs> That was nice and mess Mario than just using that song. I wouldn't call Master Mario yeah. nice and bracket, but yeah, hey, man. Yeah, you know what? He's loud and funny and energetic. I like I like <laughs> I like when he's in tournaments because he kinda like he, he sets a vibe. Yeah. Oh most definitely. Uh that was gonna be poor Lydia. I, f I actually feel like that was actually uh more true than anything, right? Yeah, like I don't think that Yeah, I don't think the could out there. Nonetheless, though, Master Mario takes game one here of Winner's Finals. Master Mario looking to punch his ticket in the grand finals here, and Nito, if he's got one, he's got a few more games to pull it off, so he's not too far off behind, but here, Master Mario showing up a strong game one already. Ooh, and sticking with the Terry. He, he wants to make a point. He wants to prove something. Not sure what. It kind of seems like he just wants to do, you know, the, the Street Fighter thing, but, uh, I don't know, like Terry's moveset doesn't really like uh, apply as well. Yeah, I mean, also for Nito, it's really good for him to test in a real tournament bracket setting, right? How he will fare against Mario too. The only way to test here is you have to get out of the lab and get into the field. And putting Terry into the field here against Mario is going to be Nito's test of true strength, no oh, tech. That means the jab reset. He like, he like slid into that jab. Yeah, he did. Style. Yeah, like I'm all for it. Like I, I love seeing uh, these secondaries. Uh, push to their limits. Most definitely, too. You kind of have to push the limit here with your secondary, but so far the limit's kind of more being broken here by Master Mario. He's a crack shoot to come back yeah. on the stage here. There's going to be a lot more of that happening, I, I imagine. Like, you know, crack shoot uh, going back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. seen it, uh, at least a few times from Nito. 
Nice, going for power dunk. That would have been like three. Nice. Nice, oh, what a good call out of there. Immediately oh, against Master Mario for sticking to the ledge here. Oh, he needed that. Still able to survive, holding great DI. 125 here for Nido. I definitely want to make sure he. I, I would want. I'm not gonna say he want. I want to make sure, but I most definitely want to see Nido being careful with around Master Mario. Nice. That's check. I, I definitely I like the option here, but the big problem here is of course he's gonna hit the shield and he puts himself right back at disadvantage. That's cool because like Master Mario was like kind of playing with Nito's head a little bit. He like jumped into the ledge mm -hmm. just to do a back air for the normal getup. Oh, this is kind of a corner carry here. Even if it was a normal get a man, Master Mario was making sure. Yeah. Power dunk, nice. Full meter is activated here. Ooh. Nice, across the stage here. What a confirm, nice. putting in 91. Stage control here, any defense. Power guys are with the right opportunity. It's actually really scary playing against Terry over 100%. Yeah, Rage and the ability to have the go-meter actor active, Power Geyser and Buster Wolf. Buster Wolf to cover distances and Power Geyser to cover uh, pretty much all of the five options. Yeah, because like, uh, uh, Buster Wolf mm. like covers like half the stage almost. Right? Yeah, it's got some distance, but you do commit to it. Yeah. Mm, he missed it. I felt like that might have been a missed input too. Combo with the starter frames here. Nito in a little bit of a trouble. 152 rising tackle to come back on the stage, but he picked the same get up option. And Master Mario calls it off for the back air. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to say what I think should happen, but I feel Ken coming. Might be a possibility. I feel like Nito is in deep thought, but also Master Mario played it very, very calm. He wasn't too scared with the Nito active. He kind of knew I have two stocks, I have stage control. If I pick the right opportunity against Nito to come back on the stage. I don't have to worry about Power Geyser. I felt that the only thing Master Mario wasn't really ready for, it, it kind of shows his Buster Wolf. Yeah. I'm not psychic, guys. I'm just, <laughs> it, it's, it's, I'm just it, a man. It's most definitely, <laughs> you know, the obvious option. Thank <laughs> you. Real every, cliffhanger every, moment. <laughs> every, every magician has a trick up the sleeve, and that's just understanding your opponent. Yeah. <laughs> Understanding how people will react to op uh, you know, illusions. Yeah. The, illusion, the illusion of being a Terry secondary against a Mario is gone yeah. for Nito here. He's going to have to commit here to that. It's funny. It's almost like he conditioned Massa Mario to be like, here's me playing Ken without all the options that I have. <laughs> Forget about that. I mean, but it kind of shows off the reason why, you know, he was playing Terry. He kind of understands for, for honestly, for Ken and Ryu, the weight that they fall under is really good for Mario to kind of combo them. They do become cannon fodder. Yeah. I'm sorry, combo fodder. Yeah, it's, it's funny seeing, to me, it's funny seeing these combo characters become combo foods. Right? Almost a taste of their own medicine in the proper way. Just desserts, man. It's also the weight class. They fall under and the fall speed as well. It's perfect for Mario to kind of set these characters up for a ride here, but he immediately goes for the Shoryu. Pretty good, a solid option against Master Mario. You kind of get it off of him. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems like that, sh or that move is just never... Like, unless he miss that move, he can, and he can even miss it, and that could, it's like a base and done. Yeah, and even missing the move there against the focus attack, that kind of allowed Master Mark to read that and then punish him for it. He don't suck on this big deficit to show you not enough! Forward smash, and that puts Ryu off the stage here. Master Mark with edge guard phase in his hands here, looking for that spacing to punish. See, this is the thing about Nito. He's, he's been going for those those uh, those option recoveries. He went for neutral get up here as Terry, but he went for the Hadouken get up there. Even though it's not a neutral get up, the, the plane of the elevation that he's at is still enough for Master Mario to go for a punish. Yeah. He has to be careful when he has to kind of read Master Mario to see where he's going to be and then make a choice of one of those five options to Ooh. be in the recovery, and that's going to be all she wrote here. Yo, that's like the, the, like run uh, like run back and then turn around forward smash.